put out new pages? The what? I mean, is this some kind of cosmic joke? Yeah, because if it is, it's stupid and we don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys okay? Give me that. What is... These are words in the script. This isn't Cass. Look at her. You guys want to run lines or... His name's Misha. Misha? Oh, wow. Great. Misha? Jensen? So put the names around here. Up off your hand, you gotta stand up to him. You let him take advantage, the problem's gonna get worse and worse as he's just gonna walk on you. He's almost back to his old self. I remember, you were really sweet to him when he was in here. Not many people would have bothered. You must be an angel. No, I'm no angel. But I could probably introduce you to one if you'd like. Who are you? Castiel. Yeah, I figured that much. I mean, what are you? I'm an angel of the Lord. Yes, I do, baby. No, you don't. I'm a crazy girl. You're crazy, so we can't have one night of bliss? I am a crazy girl. Seriously. You've been in a hospital? Please, I'm trying out English. Uh, you look incredibly good. How's that? What a show! Now we've only been on a few dates, you and me, and I think we got some differences. Didn't you know that's what makes it fun? Holy oh, fucking shit! This damn baby. Little man scary the yellow bell. That's exactly what I'm talking about. People don't just go around with a tarantula on their shoulder like a sedicty bird. Hello. You missed me yet? Of course. I hope you didn't book your flight to Nevada. I was just about to. Why? We might not be going. When will you know? About an hour. If you stay in town, will you remain at the hotel? Get unconscious. Where's the... This doesn't look like Danville. We took you as far as we could. You have to leave now, okay? No, not okay. Beverly, I don't know why you're doing this, but I'm not leaving until you take me back to... Out now. Yeah, this will be interesting. We'll have a... That's... Just be careful, okay? This blank's gonna be dangerous. Close range, so... I think it's gonna go over well. <laughs> I don't know if it's a movie or a TV show, but you're in a film called Living Allen. Moving Allen? Yes! Yeah, I'm not the only one around here. <laughs> Mark Pellegrino's in it. I'm, I'm he just... plays Allen. <laughs> who was being moved. <laughs> As a carcass for most of the film. He's uh, in the trunk of a car. I set him on fire. I touched his bare ass. I didn't see that bit. What's that? I didn't see that bit. You did not see that bit? No. Best part. <laughs> what? Reenacted? <laughs> Mark will not have a problem with that. Bit. I'm sure he will. Yes. What is that? What's the premise? I just told you. I just gave you the entire synopsis of the film. Alan it, it needs to be moved as a carcass in the trunk of a very small car. Is it a comedy or is it an exercise? 
It is a comedy, although the movie itself is not funny at any point. Um, boy, has anyone seen it? Yeah. How is that even possible? I don't think I've seen it. What's it on YouTube? It's only in Portuguese. There you go. Yes, uh, they released the Portuguese version early. Uh, we shot the whole thing. It was like a spaghetti western, but it was shot Portugal, obviously, and we did it in Portuguese. Um, uh, really? You've seen it? Wow. I guarantee you, Mark hasn't seen it. That's amazing. Um, hold on, I'll ask. Would you be able to send her the link? What's that? Do you guys, do you, can you tell me her, your email address so I can get I don't know why that's weird. All of a sudden she got quiet. Um, okay. Alright. Thank you. Yeah, alright. She didn't suffer. Your grandmother was, um, she's in really good health and spirits right up to the end. She'd have been really glad you came. I'm not really in the mood for small talk right now, okay? Can you hold this? No, I, I gotta go, I'm late. Look, I've been waiting for ages and you're perfect. I'm perfect? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, great. Hold on tight. Two hands. Oh my god, what is that? You have a point for a haircut? I'm trying to get arrest a fairy thing going. Look, is there an actual Madame Matryoshka? Dorgaya, tut palizia, tut palizia. Kind of distracted. No, true, true, but I'm 100 percent on board now. Okay, 110 in action. Well, we all got together and talked about it. Good. The guys, this morning, kind of decided the band's got to make some changes. Stop sign. Be nice. Take her. Take her. I'm not afraid to use this. Shut the fuck up. Tutto quello che è successo. Ah, e lui che cosa ha detto? Lui? Come sa che era un uomo? Ha detto solo un testimone. Lui? Lei? Non ha molta importanza perché state bleffando. I voluntarily turned myself in. I'm just trying to do the right thing here, Agent Gibbs. Look, I'm admitting it, okay? I stole the damn SUV, but I didn't kidnap anyone. I explain these. I didn't know that chick was back there when I took it. Correct. I play drums in the band there three times a week. That's correct. So what were you doing in Ohio switching the license plates on your car? I was going to visit a buddy of mine and I noticed my tags were expired and I was like, I don't want to get pulled over because I have a lot of parking tickets. I know it's pretty stupid. Do any of your tenants complain of hearing arguments or loud voices? No. Don't tell me this is happening again.
Nobody is going to want to live in this building if this is happening again. Look, Morton, thank you, but we can take it from here, okay? Do you have any suspects? Do you have any idea who killed Marie? I stay in touch with her family and they ask all the time. She sold it to me. I think I got a receipt at home. Come on, Chester. What happened? Did she panic, want to come clean, so you killed her? Hmm? Oh, I didn't touch her. Okay. You're totally right. I know nothing about your life these days. It's fine. I don't know anything about yours either. So tell me what happened with Leanne. Tell me why you're really here. <laughs> Did you know that Dad is bringing a date to the party tonight? Araceli? Yeah, I figured he would. Wait. Not Araceli Mack. That's Dad's girl. Good night. Oh. Come in for some coffee? Oh, I, I really have to get up early, but if you insist, maybe just one cup. <laughs> That's a funny trick. Call you. Okay. He's nice place. Yeah. I guess you could say that. That was good. Dessert? I brought my own. You don't mind? Mm -hmm. Tell us what you don't like about yourself, Mr. Scarrett. The size of my penis. A penis enlargement, great. Not an enlargement, a reduction. I've got a Tyrannosaurus prick. A humanoid in a trench coat. Technically, it's an overcoat. I assure you none of this is necessary. I'm not a demon. I'm an angel of the Lord. No! Just hide in here. Wait until me or Pete and get back. Stay low. I'm gonna call an ambulance. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Let us in. Deacon! Get out of the way! Deacon! Deacon Jim! Help us! Holy mother, I didn't know he went out tonight. What have you done to yourself, Caesar? Father Christopher, for the love of God, help me get him inside! seen Siobhan's car out front, I would have just kept on driving. Hi. It's just, um, a buddy at work gave me two free passes to the county fair and I was kind of hoping to take Sean. Female assist! Stay right there. Uh-oh, you got the mean one. Stop it. Step right this way, ma'am. Arms out to your side. Just look at that dirty jungle cat. <laughs> <laughs> I need you. <laughs> don't, don't stop. I need you breathing in my ear. Okay. <laughs> You're tickling me. Yeah. <laughs>
nice place. Very cozy. It's a rat trap. Capone was tipped off as to where I lived, so I started getting death threats, occasional brick through the window. Sent my wife to Cincinnati to stay with her sister. And I moved in here. You guys, you really punked me. <laughs> I'm totally gonna tweet this one. Hola, mis amigos. J squared got me good. Really starting to feel like one of the guys. Things like how much you made in stocks, or paid for a new home, or earned from a home-based business. And even though everything we go over in this video may not apply to your current situation, understanding how the forms and schedules work together is the key to figuring out your taxes. Because on your own, things can get pretty confusing. Getting the forms and schedules you need is a great reason to visit your local IRS office. For these schedules and forms, the Hendersons received a bunch of documents near the end of the year that they'll need come tax time. You know what? You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.